I'm a fifth, fifth generation. I've got sixth around the place. We've got a plethora of ladies around the place now, so we've often contemplated changing that to uh, S. Smith and Daughters. But I don't think they can cope with the number of letters in Daughter. He came out from England in 1847 on the good ship China with Mary and about five children, two of whom perished. From what we know, he settled in Adelaide briefly, then got a job up here in the Barossa with uh, George Fife Angus, the local feudal baron who owned a lot of the land and the farming country, and he was a gardener for a while with him. He, he took off to Bendigo in uh, about 1851 to look for gold. And that was the whole turning point in probably our whole, in our history. He found enough gold, came back, told Angus that he had other things to do, got bought this land off Angus and started planting vines and making wine. Dad was a cricketer, uh, played cricket for Western Australia. First man in Australia to face larva during the Bodyline series in Western Australia on a sticky opening with Bradman. That's been the you know, connection with cricket um, in real terms, but the more sort of famous aspect of this property is that on the rest day they always came here. Out of a lot of, you know, with a place 160 years old, a lot of the traditions go and we felt coopering is one that's worth maintaining. We, um, we decided to keep the coopers because we've still got a lot of barrels on the property. Um, and we think it's a noble tradition of, of winemaking, you know, it's a unique art. It's the only privately owned cooperage on a winery in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, we make all of our top end barrels uh, for our reds and whites out of uh, American oak and various forests or oak from various forests in France. Well the family tasting room is part of what was once the, um, the brandy cellar. We had a still, we still got an old pot still next door. We wanted a private space to to taste where instead of Joe Punter we had mates who wanted a bit of special treatment with our cricketers or actors or politicians sometimes. But now we use it for all the buyers that come from Europe or America, we take them into there and you know it's got a little bit of the family history in there with cricket and horse racing and hunting and other stuff. So that's, that's it and it's just a cosy space and a professional space now for tasting. The first vintage was in 1962 and my dad Wyndham wanted to name the best of vintage wine after someone whom had been a major contributor to the history and or culture of Yolumba. Well I think you know this, this coterie of like-minded um, family makers of wine have got a terrific opportunity. Um, we've all got plenty of uh, experience in the wine game over many generations so I don't think anyone should assume the title of being the leader or the custodian. I think we're all there looking after each other, to be honest. We are 160, we've got 160 years of accumulated wisdom. A lot of people have been with us a long time. It is, you know, at the end of the day, I think family businesses of substance, which means that they've got more than three employees in the deli, have all got a culture and whoever's there tends to be part of that culture by, by virtue of spending so much time around family and around the one spot. Uh, we have a motto loosely coined, um, difficult to join, impossible to leave. <laughs>